Okay, this is the exercise module uh, for module 8, the Switzerland structure. There's going to be three different exercises, the stack ranking tool, the customer matrix, and the supplier matrix. The stack ranking tool is designed to minimize your reliance on any one employee. And over-reliance on employees can reduce the value and sellability of your company. So if you start the exercise, here's what you want to do. List your 20 most important employees. And these are the employees that you would most like to retain. If you have less than 20 employees, please list them all. So let's just play the game here. We got Tom, we got Jane, we got Dick, we have uh, Mary, we have Bob. Can't do anything without a Bob, right? We have Greg, and we have Melissa. Let's uh, stop it there. Now, order them, reorder your list of employees by importance. And importance is really going to be based on not necessarily who you like more, but a more importance to the company. So, you know, Greg and Melissa are going to be at the top of the food chain. Um, Tom, Dick, Jane, Mary, Bob. Everybody loves Bob. He's valuable. We'll just leave it like that. So least important employees, most important. Uh, there's a reason for this. So... Please note your retention strategy for your five most important employees. You know, we're going to offer a bonus. Um, and a pay raise. We're going to do the same thing. Bonus, pay raise. Now you can add it for these people or not. It doesn't matter. Well, it does matter. Let's just keep going to the next step. So how can you reduce your company's reliance on your five most important employees? So for Greg, we might be able to hire an assistant for him. Um, same thing for Melissa. Um, Bob, we can do is we can train two replacements and that's what we're going to do for the, the next series of them as well. View the results. So here's, this is just something to put down is the most important employees. Here's Greg's number one, your retention strategy bonus and a pay raise and you're going to hire an assistant. Um, you know, document this is where you start getting really into where you document your processes and everything he does hire, you know, two underlings splitting those tasks up. So it doesn't fall to just one position, but it could be trainable and duplicable. And that's, that's the whole idea behind this type of thing. All right, let's go into the next one. We have the customer matrix. We're going to do the same thing. This tool is designed to minimize reliance on a small group of customers. And over-reliance on a few customers can reduce the value and the sellability of your company. So let's start. What was your total revenue in your most recent 12-month period? So let's say you've done $2 million. There you go. Next step. Please list the largest customers. So, you know... Home Depot, and it was a million. Uh, customer was Amazon, and it was 500,000. Then it was direct to consumer, and this was the other 500,000. It was the your largest customer, so this wouldn't be your largest customers. Um, we can always add another one and we'll, we'll just say Walmart and it was a hundred thousand. Okay. The point of this is just to point things out and make it obvious. It just spits out a, a pie graph, you know, 50%, 49.9% of your revenue came from one source. So let's talk about the strategies to reduce your reliance on it. How, how can you reduce it? So here's where we'd need examples of more direct-to-consumer sales via website 
through marketing through marketing. Next strategy too is hire more sales people. Uh, might do it as telemarketers. And then strategy three. Um, we don't have a strategy three. We'll just additional marketing. So it, it all it does is it, it gives you a customer concentration. They're still going to get the numbers, the pie graph, and here's your strategies. Now, obviously, every one of these strategies is going to require thought precision, but then focus and taking action to complete them all. So here's here's where you add an action item to it. But again, move on. Then the supplier matrix, kind of on the same order. This tool is designed to minimize your reliance on a small group of suppliers. And over-reliance on a few suppliers can reduce the value and sellability of your company. So what was your total cost of goods sold in your most recent 12-month period? Um, your total cost of goods sold was seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars out of the two million your supplier uh, was of course it's acme it always is right there are two hundred and seventy five thousand then you had acme plus well, it was when the sun branched off uh, you did one hundred and fifty thousand with him and then you had uh you know don't we always talk about Joe blow and Joe Blow was 125000 So let's just dump it like that. Here's the breakdown. So again, just to put it in perspective, to give you a pie chart, let's list the strategies for reducing your reliance on your largest supplier. So you just, you have to come up with other suppliers. You need to um, hire a researcher to find different suppliers. Then we're going to <clears throat> hire telemarketers to set appointments for speaking to suppliers. And which actually this this could all be part of this. You know, do the research, hire telemarketers, and then put Salespeople on call to negotiate. Costs. That's one strategy. Another strategy is just to attend trade shows of vendors. And strategy three could simply be nothing. I mean, you could wind up doing nothing. So you do nothing. Um, it, it doesn't matter because what it's going to do is it's just going to put all this together in a form for you. Here's your total cost of goods sales breakdown of $750,000. This shows you how bad this is. A buyer coming in, you know, okay, you have a few suppliers, but you've got large chunks, large chunks coming in where only others is 200000 or 26%. 75, 74 point. 74.4% of this is all from three suppliers. That's bad. Um, so here's your strategy, and that's what you need to work on. You need to implement this, so you need to get this down that you don't have any one suppliers more than 15%. That's your key number. That's your target. Um, depending on the type of business you have, of course. Type of business, you know, if you're a website hosting, you basically, you know, you're going to go to Liquid Web or, or what have you, or you're going to wind up going to Amazon. You know, you know, there's not many choices to really shop from. That's not the type of suppliers or vendors they're talking about. If you have a software as a service business, again, same premise, it's really not going to make that much of a difference. So, yeah, let's just delete that out there. Okay, that's that.